those days when I'm tired or worn out or just basically sick of the grind. What do I do on those days? I go anyways. I get it done even if I'm just going through the motions. I go through the motions. Don't give in to the immediate gratification that is whispering in your ear. Shut that down. Do not listen to that little voice. Instead, go through the motions. Lift the weights, sprint the hill, work on the project, get out of bed. Now, as an overall rule, I do not like procrastination. You need to get things done. You will realize that the desire to rest was just weakness. It was just the desire to take the path of least resistance, the downhill path, the easy path. And by simply going through the motions, you overcame that path. And you stayed on the righteous path, the disciplined path. You stayed on the war path. Which is right where you know that you belong. I became obsessed. I became obsessed with being the baddest that God ever created. Am I that? I don't care. I believe it. And I was trying to tell him, once you become obsessed with something, obsessed, it's okay to be unbalanced for a while. It's okay. Don't be all this stuff. People say, you got to be balanced. To be the best in the world at what you do. It's not about being a Navy SEAL, people. The best at what you do, you have to be unbalanced to find every bit of energy and strength that you have to pull it off. Then you get balanced once you become great. And then you help other people become better from you being the best in the world. So if your family doesn't understand, why are you so daggone crazy? Because I'm trying to be the best I can to give you the best that I am. And it takes being obsessed to where people think you're crazy. People look at me and say, oh my God, you're a masochist, you're this and that. I'm not going to get into how bad I was in all these races and still training. I had 21 stretch fractures going through Hell Week. 21 stretch fractures. You know what I did? I taped my ankles up. Roger that. I want to be a SEAL. So I did it. Become obsessed with being great. It changes everything. Here's how the real world works. You do such a great job and stand out so much that you are literally undeniable when it comes to who is the best at what they do. And that doesn't matter if you're making French fries at McDonald's, okay? If you're making French fries at McDonald's, your job is to make the best French fries that you could possibly make. That's your fucking job. And you might be sitting there thinking, well, what does that matter? Here's why it matters. Because while you might not be making fucking fries your entire life, and if you are, make sure they're the best. But while you may not make fries your entire life, the habits that you build, the character traits that you build in yourself Doing a job and doing an excellent job will carry with you to your next place. And not only will they carry with you, they will likely open the doors to your next place. So, let me make sure that you understand this concept very clearly. Um, if you're not getting noticed, it's because you're not f***ing good enough. And if you're not good enough, it is your responsibility to get good enough to where you stand out amongst your peers. This is your responsibility. If you are in a place where you truly feel like you are doing excellent work every single time without fail and you are not being recognized, 
that means you're in the wrong place. All right? So, that's not most of you, by the way. That's only a few of you. The majority of people think they're doing a much better job than what they actually are. They, are, they think they are much more consistent than they actually are. And the goal is not for you to claim how hard you work and how good of a job you do. The goal is for every fucker around you to notice. That's called becoming undeniable. Becoming undeniable in your work ethic, undeniable in your skill set, and undeniable in the results you produce. If you can get to that point and get past the whiny, weak, average standard of I'm doing all I can, which we all know is it, you will become a winner. You will progress through whatever company you're in, you will make an impact with your customers, and you will win. Period.